Welcome back everyone. I'm Candice Chantel, a rapid manifestation coach who helps you manifest anything you want into your life faster, easier with the fewest amount of steps possible. If you're a member of this community, you know manifesting isn't complicated. It's simple. So let's talk about today something that like plagues so many viewers, clients, whatever in the manifestation community. Why is my SP not conforming? I am literally at my wit's end. What can I do about my SP not conforming? Like, will they come on already? Well, this is going to help you out with that. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do now. So, so many people have this issue, right? I've seen um, clients will come who are like most of the time when people um, sign up for my coaching, they've already like tried manifesting or they've learned about it from another YouTuber and they're like, okay, can you help me like try to get this to come into my life faster? And I always see the same things when people have the issue of their SP not conforming, not going into that final state of, you know, becoming who they want to be with them together, either in a relationship or, you know, just like some type of casual relationship, whatever it is that you want with them. The majority of the time, the problem is that you are solely focusing on that person. Okay. You're focusing on just having that person in your life in a certain way. And what you really need to be focused on is the types of behaviors and feelings that you want to have when you're with that person. The types of things you want them to, you know, reflect to you, how you want them to treat you, what you want them to say to you, the way that you want them to show up in your life. So what you're doing is you're not actually ruminating on the behaviors that you want to see, the feelings that you want to feel, and the outcome that you want to have. You are just hyper fixated on that person in general, showing you something, giving you something to let you know that that person is being pulled closer into your life. When really what you need to focus on is the overall outcome that you want. So, okay, I know that can be a little confusing. You might be like, well, the outcome is that I want them in my life. Like, okay, wait a minute. You think that's the outcome that you want. Is that what you really want? There are literally hundreds of reasons people might want an SP into their life. Like the most basic, simple ones are to be in a committed relationship, to get married, you know, friendship, whatever. Those are like the basic, basic reasons. But you have to really go deep down and ask yourself, especially if you were in a relationship with this person before, you have to ask yourself, what do I want to see from them when they come into my life this time? Do you want to just draw them into your life and then have negative interactions with them? Get back in the same fights and cycles that you had before? Have them come in, jump out, jump in, jump out. Is that what you want to see? No. The outcome that you want is actually not just to draw them in. The outcome that you want is something deeper. It's you want them to treat you in a way that makes you feel like you're the only one in their life. You want them to treat you in a way, say things to you, show you behaviors that let you know that they care for you deeply. They love you. They only want to be with you. Whatever it is that you want, you know, whether it's um, you might be in a different phase where you want to move in together. You want them to show you that they are ready to build a future with you. Whatever it is that you want, it's not just the person. It's actually a behavior that you want to see from them that all boils down to how you want to be treated. So you guys know where I'm going with this. You know where I'm going with this. It's not about the specific person. It's all about you. So if you want to see them conform and they're not conforming, you have to stop and ask yourself, have I been hyper fixating on the person and not the outcome or the behavior? And most of the time, that's yes. So I will say this, when I'm coaching my clients, we always do something where we like totally flip the script. You don't want to draw SP into your life. What you actually want is someone who, and this is just one example, communicates with you clearly, effectively, and consistently every single day. You know where you stand in their life. That's some, you know, maybe that's what it is that you want. You want someone that you're not having to reach out to them and wonder like, oh, are they going to text me back? Am I being annoying? Do they want to talk to me? No, you want someone that reaches out to you, that takes the initiative, that shows interest in you constantly. So what that really boils down to is not having to say, of course, you can say SP affirmations for that person, but that really boils down to is that you are a person who drives so much interest in people that they can't stay away from you. That you are a person who people know not to even talk to you, not to even try to pursue you 
unless they are serious, unless they know how to show that they're interested because you are the type of person that if that's not what they're going to do, they're not even going to bother you anyway. You have to flip it. When your SP is not conforming, you have to ask yourself, what is it that I really want and how can I turn myself into that person in order to bring everyone in my realm to make them reflect that reality that I know about myself. So just as and just as an example, um if you're someone who constantly battles with an SP wanting to be casual but you wanting to have a serious relationship and maybe you've had this cycle in the past where everyone that you seem to date never wants to take it to that next level with you. You don't have to say SP affirmations that they want to be in a relationship with me. They um, tell me, I, you know, visualize that they're telling me I'm their girlfriend. You don't have to say any of those things. What you need to do is focus on the fact that you are a person who only deals with monogamous, committed relationships. You are a person. Become that person who doesn't do casual dates, who doesn't do casual flings, so, the, so that those two personalities cannot come together. Those two entities cannot come together. The guy who is treating you, who is seeing you like a casual fling, can't see you like that if you don't see you like that. If you see yourself as this ultimate prize, I only deal with people who know that I'm the only one and they are only committed to me. If you know that about yourself, if you conduct yourself in that way, then that is all that you will um, attract into your life. Remember, if you feel a certain way about yourself, and again, it always, you know, it always takes some uneasy truths to un to uncover, right? Maybe you do think that, okay, well, I'm the type of girl that people don't want to um, don't want to take into that relationship that people want to don't want to take home to meet their parents, then you have to do that inner work to tell yourself, no, you're not. You are whatever you choose to be and you can choose to be it right now. Now that does require, now again, you can do this just the same way that you can say SP affirmations. You can say these affirmations for yourself, like just like I listed. Like people who talk to me only want to deal with committed relationships the people who talk to me always want to take me to the next level because they see exactly what I provide they are just so interested in me just like I am I don't have to make any effort extra effort it's just so crazy how the people that I meet always want to be in a relationship and again this is just like one example in the overall uh, specific person sphere okay like in the specific person universe this is just one example of what you might want but these are the types of things and affirmations that you can say about yourself every single day but you also have to take some action in order to be that person and that means setting boundaries to become that person so if someone's trying to start a casual relationship with you like uh, excuse me i don't do those who did you think you're talking to like literally be that person embarrass them if you have to because you how dare you come to me and think i'm about to accept that bottom of the barrel stuff i'm not accepting that like get out of here you see what i'm saying and the more that you become that person the more that you embody that persona the more that that will literally just be who you are we all know men we all know women who it's like dad they always seem to get even if they just left a relationship they just found another awesome guy or girl to get with like they're always constantly in a relationship why can't i find anyone that I can be within that way. You can. You just have to embody that persona and be that persona. So if your SP is not conforming, remember, ask yourself, what is it that you really, really want? Do you just want them to text you crumbs every couple of days to let you know that they might be conforming? No, you want them to be consistent, clear communicators. So that means you have to turn into that person. Turn that lens on yourself and become what it is that you want them, you know, that you want to see from them. All of the people I deal with contact me constantly. They know communication is important to me. And like, I, I just exude that. People just want to talk to me all the time. I don't have to beg for communication from the people that I deal with because it just comes natural to everyone. And what's going to happen is, yes, your SP is because they are in your sphere they're in your kind of like mind bubble of what you're doing they're going to start conforming but also other people who fit the criteria will also start to conform 
And the way that you get what you want is not to hyper fixate on someone outside of you, outside of your reality. Okay, so if SP is not conforming, most likely you're hyper fixating. Turn the lens on yourself and let me know how that goes. If you guys want additional help, you know, links are always in the bio. Bye.